this is how I remember it. Second period geometry. Allison Friedman asks about an English presentation due sixth period worth 25% of my grade and 0% even started. So I start by closing my eyes slightly. I do everything I would normally do, just noticeably slower until Mr. Boyle, my geometry teacher, has to ask if something is wrong. I say, no, Mr. Boyle, not yet. By American history, I am walking with a new hunch in my back. I bump into a desk, then a person. My frown like an upside down whatever. By physics, Zach Presky is carrying my backpack. I tell my teacher, Mrs. Parrott, that my stomach is troubled. That if I have to sprint from class unexpectedly, it's no disrespect. But I'm going to try to rough it, Mrs. Parrott. I didn't become secretary of the student council by not roughing it. 20 minutes, I break for the hallway. Cheeks puffed, I am sprinting through the second floor of Sycamore High School. I smack the bathroom door with both hands and no one is inside, but still I rush for the stall. I can feel the crevices of the small tile floor against my knees. I am attempting to throw up anything. I am making throaty noises, spitting into my own reflection in the water. The nurse will be a sympathetic pushover. My mother is at work until six, so Mrs. Wilkerson will have to pick me up from the office and assist me out to her minivan, just as Mrs. May, my English teacher, calls up the first presentation. Now, Mrs. May is the only person who will not believe me. Her hands cast a choleric spell as she tells me that I can't just charm and squeak my way through life. But there I am, indignant and righteous. In tears, I storm from the classroom, still holding the bright yellow pass that reads, excused absence. I am committed to the work I have done, full of wrath that anyone could look at me and see a liar.